The president continues to campaign for gun proposals. Good evening. This is CTV News. I'm Rochelle Metzger. And I'm Sonia Shavasper. Thank you for joining us this evening. Well, President Obama tries to rally support for an assault weapons ban on the same day another school shooting unfolds in Oklahoma. Obama pitched his proposals to stem gun violence this afternoon in Minnesota. Many of the plans face tough opposition from congressional lawmakers and the National Rifle Association. The vast majority of Americans, including a majority of gun owners, support requiring criminal background checks for anyone trying to buy a gun. So right now, Democrats and Republicans in the Senate are working on a bill that would ban anyone from selling a gun to somebody legally prohibited from owning one. That's common sense. The assault weapons ban expired in 2004. Reinstating it is expected to be the president's toughest hurdle. Universal background checks for gun purchase purchasers may have may have an easier time passing Congress, although the NRA also opposing also opposes that measure. Well, what can be done to prevent gun violence? It's a question that has been asked more frequently since the massacres in Connecticut and Colorado. Today, Maryland Attorney General Doug Gansler held a half-day forum to discuss possible solutions. Participants included law enforcement experts, legal professionals, and civic leaders. Montgomery County Police Chief says he believes there are several solutions that should be considered. Let's pass legislation that says that you, if you're going to buy ammunition, you have to do it in person. Um, you know, strengthening the background checks, eliminating the gun show loophole. These are all things that absolutely, in my view, do not conflict with the Second Amendment, but would um, give us better opportunities to keep guns out of the wrong hands. Now, about 50 people turned out for today's forum, which was held at the University of Maryland Law School in, pardon me, Law School in Baltimore. Hundreds of elementary students relocate to a local high school for the day. This after a water main break in the Beltsville area impacts their building. Students and staff from Calverton Elementary moved to High Point High School this morning after low water pressure was reported. A spokesperson for WSSC says the issue stems from one section of a water main that is temporarily out of service. Crew members are reportedly on site to fix the problem. Meanwhile, Calverton's principal says her staff is prepared to move forward with today's lessons. We're currently getting, making sure that all of the students ha have been fed, and then once they've been fed, our, my teachers are prepared, so they've already bought instructional things for students to do. Um, they're doing reading. Some of my teachers are co-teaching. We're just a really good team at Calverton, so we were well prepared. Parents were notified of the move this morning. An official letter will be sent home with children tomorrow. There is no word yet on how soon the water main will be fixed. A Capitol Heights man is sentenced to more than 12 years in federal prison for sex trafficking of minors. 31-year-old Dennis Smith drove a 16-year-old girl across state lines in October 2011 after meeting her through a social networking site. There, the two engaged in sex acts before returning her home the next day. Law enforcement uncovered the prostitution in 2012 after they set up a sting operation at a New Carrollton hotel. Meanwhile, a Prince George's man is arrested and charged with prostitution, sexual solicitation of a minor, and human trafficking. 47-year-old Anthony Elam of Bryan's Road was released on bond after being picked up by authorities on Friday. Elam faces several separate charges and has been ordered to have no contact with the victim and to stay away from Suitland High School. Few other details are available on the case. He is scheduled for a preliminary hearing on February the 27th.